Hey everybody, this is Nemo and welcome to the video guide of my SEO Booster Ultimate version for PrestaShop. And this module was specifically thought to incorporate all of the basic SEO feature features um, my other SEO booster comes with together with more advanced ones which were only available through Overwrite. So let's have a look at the options the module offers to tweak our SEO. First off I will go ahead and install it. Okay. And as soon as it's installed it will get rid of uh, the ID numbers uh, preceding categories, products and so on across all of the store. Then let's clear a cache so that our new URLs are retrieved within cache modules or advanced parameters, performance and we'll clear cache. Okay so let's have a quick look the front office and see if it works and let's click on a product so not this one because I changed it so this one for example and it does as you can see here it removed ID so let's check for example the dresses category and that works as well great so let's get back to the models configuration page here so the first panel encloses various options which I suggest leaving all checked to improve SEO. So I'll check all of them and then we'll also go through them to explain a bit what they do. Okay, so starting from the top, href lang is used to let Google know about your site in different languages. Then 410 instead of 404, if your products are not available for any reason, you should better send this 410 code to Google so it knows it's not just a generic page not found error. And then we have a bunch of canonical tags. So uh, the canonical tag is used to tell search engines which page URL is actually representing a specific page uh, for real. Uh, and this is um, <clears throat> to, avo to avoid uh, duplicates. In case, for example, you have a pagination or a query parameters. And um, we will see how this ultimate version of the SEO booster also allows us to set a manual canonical tag, which is just great if you use combination. Then, rel prev next. This is used for pagination so that Google knows the current page has some other linked, one, linked ones uh, representing other parts of the same product list. So let's now move to the next tab, URLs. So remove default ISO. This comes in handy if you're planning on adding another language to your shop, but you're afraid of losing your rank as press a shop, uh, as you might know, would depend, for example, EN slash for English, even if that's the default language. So enabling this option makes sure your default language will not add any extra parameter to the URL. So let's actually test it out. I have EN right now in the URL. So if I save this, I have debug mode enabled, but you can see I am being redirected to press the shop slash and nothing else. So this is just great if you want to save your ranking. Next up, let's scroll down. Uh, we can ignore this manufacturer supplier URL thing since um, this uh, module automatically indexes manufacturers and suppliers URL upon install. So just check this out in case you're having any weird issue with um, URLs and strange redirections in the front office. Then scrolling down again, we have routes, custom routes. So in this section, we can tweak specific uh, URLs and, and routes and patterns. But um, make sure you know what you do here as you can really, really mess things up. And apart from that, we can um, make specific URLs for each single language of our store, which is just great and doesn't come by default with PrestaShop. Um, for example, in this case, I have a brand here for the manufacturer URLs, but if I switch to another language, I have uh, the specific word for that language. And this, this way, uh, you can tweak SEO specifically 
for each language your store has. Just a brief mention about uh, category URLs. With this module, you'll be able to create specific ones so that they include all of the parents. So for example, I have uh, here this um, pattern categories slash rewrite. So if I navigate to a category, and I forgot which one it is now. So um, you can see I'm being redirected to uh, women slash dresses. Now if I just uh, clear my cache again, okay, clear cache. Refresh, you can see it's been picked up by the top menu as well. All right, so you can see here, women tops t-shirts, great. Presta Shop uh, by default would have added site.com slash uh, the ID dash t-shirts only. So this is just great. Moving on to the next section, website analysis. So this contains mostly the same statistics of the default SEO booster with the addition of a duplicate URL checks and categories as well. Please notice that by having IDs removed as this module does, two entities, say two categories or two products, will not have to share the same friendly URL. Otherwise you would run into uh, duplicate issues. Next, the auto generator. This useful tool can be used to automatically generate meta tags for all of our products with a single click. And we can use different tags to add specific items and entities to the meta. For example, uh, as you can see here, the product name, reference, description, uh, the default category, another category, manufacturers, and also the price, which is missing in the default SEO booster. For example, let's try adding the price now to a, a category. So product name, um, only at my shop, whatever. We also have the possibility to only fill empty tags. So we do not modify the ones we have created already or to simply not touch any of uh, them and just um, tweak the other aspects. So we might want to tweak the meta description or uh, link rewrites only. But in this case, I will just go ahead and leave it as it is. And I will choose, for example, oh, let me see, t-shirts, t-shirts category, and generate. All right, so let me have a look here. If I click this module, uh, sorry, this product, if I hover, uh, sorry, let me just take it down a bit so you can read it. So you can see the meta title says $1651 only at my shop, whatever. Great. Next the open graph section. Here we can enable Facebook open graph tags so that we can see more information about products um, such as price, the correct image and description when sharing them on social media. And this also includes, even if it's not mentioned, um, Pinterest rich pins and Twitter cards, which are actually supported by the open graph uh, protocol. Next again, robots and HT access editor. This is kind of an advanced section and should really not be tweaked unless uh, it's really it's really needed. But just so you know, you can edit both the HT access and robots file, which really comes in handy at times. And with the HT access, I also recommend adding this um, snippet you can see here if you didn't do it already, which should actually increase your site speed a bit and Google page speed rank as well. Last section is site verification. 
And you might want to use this if your site is brand new and you want to link it to Google or Bing Webmaster Tools. So you have an extensive guide in the readme file, but just so you know, you have to uh, go to uh, Google or Bing Webmaster Tools, grab the verification code and just paste it here. And that's as easy as it is. Now, you might have noticed I skipped a section named Keyword Uploader. And this is because I want to talk about keywords. Now, first off, let me reach the product page where the other important section of the SEO Booster Ultimate is. One of the biggest improvements of the SEO Booster Ultimate over the original version is the possibility to check for duplicates directly from the product page. So if I click SEO Booster Ultimate, you can see here I'm getting a warning telling me which entities have duplicates and for which products as well as for which language. So in case there is any kind of issue with duplicates, you will be notified on this page at the very top. And of course you can toggle this to um, shrink the page size down a bit. Then we have the target keyword thing I mentioned before. And, and a serious SEO campaign should still be based on keywords, meaning that you should choose a single word or multiple that you want to rank for and add it here. For example, say women blouse. So I write women blouse here. And you can see I'm getting, this is not uh, part of the default SEO, the standard SEO booster. I'm getting instant result and feedbacks uh, from Google. So I want to target a women blouse in this product. And after adding it here and saving, the module will notify me and tell me which fields are actually missing the target keyword. And of course, uh, we will also get the same kind of feedback in the general website statistics of the module that we saw before. Now to just briefly mention that uploader I skipped, um, that one can be used to massively apply all keywords to all products of the catalog, effectively saving the trouble of having to go through this page uh, for each single product. Then the very next cool feature the module comes with is the possibility to set a manual canonical tag. And this is a big advantage because you can let Google know the default product page is a specific combination, for example. Uh, maybe the one you think it might rank better. And of course, you can set a specific link for each language once more. Then we have some advanced parameters that deal with status codes and indexation. So uh, make sure you know what you're doing here before enabling the no index, for example, um, means that robots will not index this product. And lastly, the SEO Booster Ultimate comes with an alt tag editor. And this alt tag, or actually um, the tag attribute, is considered an important ranking factor for SEO, and it's the tags that would appear in case an image cannot be displayed. PrestaShop lets you set the alt tag by default, but you won't ever be able to change it once the image is uploaded. And with this module, you now can. So as you can see, the ultimate version of the SEO Booster module for PrestaShop is a fundamental tool to have in your toolbox in case you want to tackle a serious SEO campaign with PrestaShop. Thanks for watching and happy SEO!